Want just one more? Let's go. Let's go. Of course, Justin beat me with the same one. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, you guys are watching the Mac and Cheese podcast, which you would hopefully be getting a podcast once a month. Multiple episodes a week. Right now it's multiple episodes a week. Right now we're live streaming Wednesdays and Friday nights uh, with one of our friends or celebrities. If you want to be a guest, please email us at macpodcast2023 at gmail.com or DM us at macpodcast2023. Uh, we don't really have a guest today because you'll be seeing Peter a lot. <laughs> and then you'll be seeing Justin a lot as well. Mostly every episode now. This is the old one. Of course, yeah. we are not partnered with Podcast Boys Network. Yay. Where they have over 10 shows, I think, right? Yep. All right. Yeah. I'm only asking them because they know as well. Hey, who's there? Oh, yes, Justin, thank you for so much. Tonight, we decided because it just landed on a Wednesday night. Um, schedule release. Guys, schedule is here. NFL schedule is being released. Let's do it. Close to be. Now, did anyone see if it's officially like up? Uh, I got a text alert, so I would think it should be. Okay. I'm like, oh, NFL. Yep. Yep. Sunday Night Football schedule is up. And of course, Packers only have one primetime game. <laughs> I can see Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get the conversation going in the chat. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Can you guys see comments by any chance? Can you guys see comments or no? Yeah, wait, I can. Wait, I just realized I'm supposed to put up comments. How am I supposed to do this? Should we just read off the schedule, maybe? Because yeah, it'd probably be better. I'm just thinking of like what's better for us. I'm sorry, guys, if you guys can't see the schedule. It's gonna be easier for us. Thankfully, I have I have notifications on for uh, at my sports update. Okay. There you go. I'm go directly to NFL.com on my phone. So as people know, there's 18. Are the preseason games announced too? Do we know? Um, right now I see the regular season. No, no preseason yet. Yeah. So that's probably later. And of course, NFL just is live right now. But... Oh. <laughs> Let's go to the Packers schedule, maybe. The best one. I'm joking. <laughs> I know you're mad about that. Okay. <laughs> this is wrong. No, not mad. We just have differing definitions of the word best. Yeah. That's all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got it up. So we don't have preseason yet. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I think they're going to announce it later, though. Thank yeah. you to the six people that are watching. Like, Justin put it in the chat. Are you guys excited for the schedule this year? And what are you, what game are you most excited for? Okay, week one in Brazil. Yes. Eagles at Eagles. Well, we're both away because it's, right. the, it's the first international game of the season, guys. Hmm. How are you feeling about this game? We're just gonna take it game by game. Yeah. What are you guys thinking about? Peter, what do you think about the Eagles game? I, I, it's going to be really, really interesting because a lot of it depends whether you get the Eagles team that was the first half of last season or the one that 
slacked off and let Dallas win the division mm-hmm. last year. So it really depends which team you're getting within them yeah. at this point. Um, if they play like the first half team, like what they're capable of, especially mm-hmm. with their addition, um, because I think Johnny Wilson is very much being slept on for what he adds to an already physical and big offense. Right. Um, then I think you guys might be in trouble a little bit. Um, if everyone plays up to their potential on Philly, but if they don't, then you guys should win going away. In all honesty, um, Justin, what about you, the Eagles? Yeah, I, yeah, I hear about that. It's like we saw Jekyll and Hyde in terms of the, t- the Eagles last year. Yes. I kind of think that with Jason Kelsey retiring and obviously joining ESPN now, I think the offensive line is going to struggle a bit more. A bit more that push, that brotherly shove is not going to work as effectively. Right, and I think the Packers' defense is going to come out swinging and uh, make this into a route like by the middle of the third quarter. Yes, and also Fletcher Cox also retired last season. Or not this season, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for um, the running game. It's like how the mm-hmm. off- the offensive line will gel with each other and make sure make sure give give plenty of, give the Josh Jacobs and um, Marshawn. Lloyd, plenty of mm-hmm. plenty of big holes to run through. Yeah. All right. So one thing to note, I will also say where they're streaming if we have them and where it's at. So like I said, it's going to be in Brazil at Arena Corinthians, it looks like. And it mm-hmm. is going to be exclusively to Peacock that game. Week two. Mm-hmm. And also say the times if we know them. Because mm-hmm. the Eagles game is going to be at 7.15 p.m. on – uh, September 6th. Mm. Yeah, that's really interesting to see how, how they're going to do on a Friday night. That's going to be mm-hmm. something to keep an eye on. For sure. It's the first Friday night football game, too. Yeah. Week two. It's going to be September 15th at 12 Central. I'm converting these because all of these are on Central or Eastern, where Justin and I live. 1, 1 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Yeah, I know. I'm converting them to Central for our fans in the Central time zone. Mm-hmm. Um, Colts, Fox at Lambeau Field. Peter, your thoughts? I know we already talked about this one, kind of. Yeah. Um, th- that one, I think you guys are going to hopefully show up uh, like the full thing for depending on how the uh, – a lot of it's just going to depend on how the travel affects yeah. teams because it's been shown that it does. I mean, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And like Peter rudely mentioned before, Anthony Gold is playing <laughs> against the Packers. I would never say anything rude. <laughs> um, you said it pre call. Um, Justin, what are your, what is your thoughts about the Well, game? at the very uh, 6 and 15, like a little more than a week's rest between games. Oh. And there's not that much of a, there's not that much of a jet lag. Yeah. Um, like only two hour, only two hour difference, two hour time time difference between uh, Wisconsin between, between Green Bay, Wisconsin, and somewhere in Brazil. All right. Um, the, the Colts could be an interesting one because of Anthony Richardson being um, a running quarterback, like J, uh, Jalen Hurst is in Philadelphia. Um, it all depends on how Anthony Richardson reco- recovered from the shoulder surgery he shoulder injury he suffered last season. Yeah. Also, the Colts. I'm gonna try to like mention stuff if I can. About like free agency too. Um, Michael Clinton Jr. is back on the Colts. That's gonna be interesting. Hmm. Plus, Jonathan Taylor is always a threat. And Jonathan, right. Taylor, yeah, yeah. still Colts guys. Thank you to the nine people that are watching. Um, week three, September twenty second. It's the Titans at twelve p.m. and it's our first game for Gold Package. It's gonna be on Fox. At Titans at Tennessee, on Fox at Nissan Stadium. One thing to note is Derrick Henry is no longer a Titan. Yeah, yeah I see. Call? I see this as a blowout. Yeah. Win? Do you think Packers win, Justin? Yeah, by at least at least at least fourteen points. I kind of, kind of have, I kind of think it's gonna be like a thirty a thirty-five to ten shellacking. Yeah, 
I, I would probably go. I think I would go. Uh, I think they get the Titans get one in garbage time, but I was thinking like yeah. thirty-five, twenty, or something like that. So it also depends. True. One thing to mention is it also depends on how AJ Dillon is doing too. Yeah. And Jordan Love, and kicker. Who's our kicker? No one knows. <laughs> Hunter, long snapper. No one knows. Yeah. Special teams with the new return return row. Yeah, Dude, like that. That's one of the few reasons why the Titans are going to be interesting to watch this year. Is Tra- mm-hmm. Traylon Burks getting a running head start on kick returns is a horrifying yeah. prospect. Yeah, but <laughs> Sean Nixon. Yeah, him I'm so too. Sorry. <laughs> wow, sorry guys if you guys hear the rain. It started rain here in Florida, unfortunately. So or start of rivals, guys. Vikings. That's one of the first gold package game. No, the Titans is. The Vikings is not a gold package for some other reason. The, the gold the gold package is for Lam- is for games at Lambeau Field. Yeah, it says on the Packers app that I don't know that the Titans is gold package for some other reason. Um September 19th, 29th, 12 Central. It's a Sunday, week four. It's gonna be on CBS at Lambeau Field for the Vikings. Huh. CBS, little surprise about that. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, huh? What are your guys' thoughts? It's the Vikings. Who's going to be pressure? Just pressure Sam Darnold and make sure Aaron Jones is stopped <laughs> all the time. Aaron Jones, yeah, our first rival game. Yeah, I mean, re- revenge games are always tricky, but I just don't think there's enough else around Aaron Jones and JJ to even really be competition for you guys. Honestly, I mean. Also- how good is Jefferson Jefferson going to play? Yeah. And it depends, too, whether they're still sticking with the Earls at that point or whether McCarthy's taken over already. So, <laughs> yeah. so we'll see. Yeah. So, Justin, if you have any like input, just put it in, I guess. Um, week 5, October 6th, uh, 325 Central against the at, – at – um, California, so five. so five for the Rams CBS channel again. Hmm. How do you guys could, think? Be, a, could be a Jim Nance and Tony Romo game right there? Um, yeah, probably how do you guys would. Think the Rams are gonna do Packers have Matthew Stafford's number, regardless of what jersey he wears. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. the defense will the defense will be a the defense will be so, so will struggle a bit since Aaron Donald retired. Right, and, that's um, another one. You know, uh, on the on the other side of the ball, Puka Puka Nakua. He was he was a great receiver in his rookie year, mm-hmm. and Matthew Stafford should be back fully healthy, and uh, anything anything can happen. But also, it'll be mostly Packers fans in LA anyway. Also, Cooper Cup is still there too. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, Jefferson's not there anymore. I was about to say, and one thing to mention: Oh, Jalen Ramsey's not there either. Never mind. Wow. Um, but Kyron Williams is too. And no, I know. I was just thinking. You don't like, want to sleep on him. <laughs> so, one thing we forgot to mention is one player that kicked out the Vikings a couple of years ago in the playoffs mm. is Xavier McKinney. That's right. Oh, he stopped the Vikings from going further into the playoffs. Yeah. This one a little earlier. So, this <laughs> is going to be fun to see Saquon Barkley versus Xavier McKinney. Yeah. Bates. <laughs> now rivals. Well, kind of. NFC rivals. Right. But yeah, no, I think the Rams are going to be one of those sneaky teams that a lot of people are sleeping on right now just because of losing like Aaron Donald and stuff. But that the added talent that they've put on offense, I would think at minimum makes up to equalize that. So Thanks. I think they're dangerous in a different way. Than what they were, but they're still having Cooper Cup as like the second option mm-hmm. and receiving is a nightmare for most teams. <laughs> for sure. So, uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Ah! Thank you to the 12 people that are watching the podcast. I just saw that. So, yeah. as Justin put, are you guys all excited for that schedule this year? And what game are you most excited to watch? As we are Packer fans, we are talking about the Packers. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Do I have to mention week six? Fine, I will. 
October 13th. <laughs> One I will not be watching. <laughs> Central. At, no. Oh, it's home. Cardinals, Arizona. Mm. Fox. No, Peter. Bad. <laughs> Field. <laughs> it's I'm, thinking, I'm thinking this one could be a candidate for the Packers wearing their 50 throwbacks. <gasps> yes. Um, that's yeah. my that's my thing. And um, what, what what better way to this uh, embarrass Tyler Murray with the throwback uniforms on and <laughs> yes. Lambo leap all over the place. <laughs> yes, Lambo leap. Here. I don't want to hear your thoughts. I know no, what you, um, you will actually li like it because I'm going to get the uh, funny one out of the way first and then give my actual prediction. Uh, not saying this is what I think is going to happen yeah. because I think you guys are going to be up by like 35 by this point. But mm -hmm. it would be it would be a real shame if either Max Milton or Elijah Jones have no. a good reception. No, well, no. <laughs> But no, I, I think you guys handled them easily. So, <laughs> I was up by 35 near the Emma, Emma Third Tour. It could be, yeah. could be garbage <laughs> time at that point. <laughs> okay. Can someone look at week seven schedule, please? Who is playing week seven? How Packers is the Texans and Packers not prime time? Is the one that's, that's some baloney right there. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stunning. I mean, it depends on what other games there are. I'm, I guess, I'm doing but... that right now. I'm looking at it to see. On ESPN. Just Steelers on Sunday Night Football. Okay. Uh, what? And, uh, I get that. And Saints no. Chiefs on Sunday Night Football. No, I'm sorry. No. That's some, that's some, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Week seven. Week seven is just Steelers on Sunday Night Football. And week seven is a doubleheader Ravens, Bucks, and then Chargers, Cardinals. No. Those <laughs> Okay, you guys should have been the second Monday night one then. Yeah. Or like no, the St no, Steelers I Jets, I guess. I no, mean, I would say Sunday night, though. For Sunday. Mm. Yeah. But I get that one more than anything involving the Cardinals playing on Monday night, though. That's going to be a, that's gonna be a skip. Week we're, seven. We're, we're all going to be asleep by then. Sunday <laughs> night football, it says that um, Denver versus the Saints. Oh, Lord. So I'm paying coming back to New Orleans. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then Sunday, it's another international Jaguars versus um, Patriots international. Mm -hmm. And then it's Seahawks versus Falcons, Buffalo versus Titans, and then Chiefs versus 49ers at 425. Okay. Well, the good thing is for, for the ones who aren't asleep yet, that game should serve as more than enough to make them <laughs> 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 All week eight, all week eighteen games are to be determined because that's what yeah. they do nowadays. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so like I was saying, Packers versus Texans, October twentieth, Home Central. It's gonna be a tough game. It's yeah. Jordan Love. CBS again, another gold package game. And at Lambo Field, it's gonna be. What are your guys' thoughts, Stefan Diggs? Uh, be an awesome, be an awesome game, regardless of the time, regardless yep. of the time it is. Like, yeah, it's 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 going to be a potential Super Bowl matchup in the future. Mm -hmm. in my eyes. Peter, what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, I um just thinking through it now. I think that one could be the w one of the few that you guys drop at home this year just because the tech and it's not even more so a shot at you guys it's just the texans being that good because yeah. i actually have them picked to come out of the afc this year oh. so well that wouldn't surprise me at all like i yeah. said it's cj Stroud versus jordan love they're friends this is yeah. interesting. and that one's also gold package apparently according to the packers app interesting um, week eight, October twenty seventh, twelve central. One at Jacksonville. At Jacksonville, yep. Yeah. That's a win. <laughs> That's a win for the Packers. Yes. <laughs> at Everbank. Well, we yeah. should probably do predictions on an episode coming up. So yeah. At Everbank Stadium, thoughts: Trevor Lawrence, Jordan Love. I think Trevor has gotten downward since that mm -hmm. injury. 
the ankle injury. They were yeah. Jaguar started eight and three last year, and then they fell apart and missed the playoffs. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. just like taking notes as we talk. And this is a and this is a prove it year for for Trevor if he wants that big contract by Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Or honestly, I I don't even know what what teams would really sign him this offseason if he doesn't produce. The Vikings. Yeah, uh, if they hadn't drafted McCarthy, then maybe. But oh man, you just want you just don't want me to have fun with them. Fine. <laughs> okay, that's our last game in October. Yep. Eleven November third. Three twenty-five start. Lions. Fox. Field. That's gonna be a Kevin. That's gonna be with Kevin and Tom. Yeah. Tom Tom Brady is doing his broadcasting stuff this oh, yeah. year. Replacing yeah. Greg Olson on the on the A team, oh. and he's gonna he's gonna see a heck of a show. It's gonna be a down down to the wire battle with the Packers winning in the close, final moments. Okay. Jared versus Jordan Love, interesting battle. Not sure. Sure, Goff that extent extension was that was all, that was overpaid <laughs> for all for a game manager. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll talk about like that kind of stuff when Jordan Love gets paid. Yeah. Um, week 10, Packers will be off. So, I don't know what we're going to be streaming most of you guys. <laughs> They're just our mid-season thoughts. That's oh, my yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, Peter, ready for this one? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, wait. No, I need to make a point, though, before I, I say my thoughts. Okay. The 19th, I'll start at Chicago. At Chicago, that's one thing to know. So, so it's supposed to be alternated for week 18. It's at Chicago um, on Fox at Soldier Field. Peter, I know your thoughts. Justin, what are yours? Well, it's again. Well, well, we have to, we have the first ten weeks to gauge how Caleb does and how Caleb does in the NFL. If he's good, then we have to watch. Have to watch out if he's. If he's another quarterback ruined by the Bears organization, then it could be an easy win. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Peter, what are your thoughts? Okay. Um, I'm going to even ask this just unbiased here for a minute. I legitimately thought that we were supposed to rotate who ended at home. You guys did last year. Why is it you're getting it again? I don't know. Mm. Uh, Justin, do you I'm, know? I'm not. I'm not the boss of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I. Although I did kind of think that it was going to be Packers at home, Packers at home against the Bears, and then yeah, later on the season would be it would be at Soldier Field. You would think. Yeah, but why? It's like I mean, it, it's not bad enough that the officiating favors you guys at times. Now the schedule makers are too. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to do here? <laughs> no, my app like literally just went to sometimes. Start. Sometimes it's not. As, sometimes it's not healthy to blame the, the officiating for everything. Sometimes, oh, uh, no, for sure. Sometimes so said, we we a hundred percent should have played better week one last year. I'm not denying yeah. that. <laughs> Are you guys although, week eight, although week eighteen last year was definitely more uh, contested. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're we're heading in the right direction with it at least. Yeah. Okay. There's a four day break in between the next two. Mm-hmm. Week twelve, November twenty fourth, uh, three twenty five yeah. start against the Forty Nine ers. Fox Lambeau Field. We know the Forty Nine ers always causes trouble, but <laughs> it's at Lambeau and it's during the season. One thing to note is the floor. Oh, one thing to note as well against the Bears really quick. The floor has never lost to the Bears. Neither has Preston Smith. Ever. It's going to change this year. <laughs> You guys say that every year. No, I, I do think if, if Caleb plays well, I do think we salvage a split this year. Okay, I can see that, possibly. Um, Gold is not a kicker this year, guys. He's retired. <laughs> I had to look that up earlier. Uh, that's all right. That, that just means very similar to what uh, Roger said he did to love. That just means Gold did it to their new kicker. So... <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> Justin, what are your thoughts? This is, on the 49ers? This, is this is one of my games I'm most excited for. Which yeah, is, I just since January, I want the I'm wanting to get payback of the 49ers for the, the, the loss. We, 
The Padres yeah. have won games in the regular season against them, but we haven't. We came up short in the playoffs. This might be yeah. a. This might be a situation where the Packers. You know, this this game might decide who gets home field advantage in the NFC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is played out late. Yeah, but it's it's going to decide whether the game's going to be at Lambeau or if it's going to be at the dreaded place that is Levi. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's going to be in the cold. Yeah, um, Dre, one the one that there's one of the 49ers top defensive players, Dre Greenlaw, is still going to be out because of the Achilles injury he suffered in the Super Bowl. So that's going to be a major. Injury. But you know, Fred Warner's still there. Mm -hmm. Nick Bosa's still there. Yeah. Even, as long as the offensive line stays healthy, Jordan Love should be protected well yeah. enough to get to his guys. And yep. Josh Jacobs is gonna run for yeah. run for a cut. Yeah. Um, Cross gonna be pumped up. Yeah. Um, did actually have two genuine questions within yeah. that one for you guys. Um, one, do you think because it is so hard to beat a team twice in the same season, do you think that losing that one might actually bode better for you guys within the playoff realm? It really yeah. depends. I mean, yeah, it depends on how the season like, like yeah. works itself out, too. Yeah. Uh, and then second one, because um, I've actually been keeping an eye on the 49ers roster stuff uh, and like what they were potentially planning on doing um, uh, to adjust for Greenlaw's injury so they don't have to like rush him back or anything like that. Um, they're actually talking about, uh, because their defensive backfield is so legitimately talented already, they're mm -hmm. actually talking about dropping Hafunga down into his spot for the time being. Huh. Okay. And he he's got the body for it. I mean, kind of like a like nickel linebacker. Yeah. I thought you were going to take my point, and now I'm happy. <laughs> okay. So what what do you guys think on that? I don't know. Uh, you know, and next man up. If, yeah. It, yeah. if it works out for them, then great. Right. So like Justin it. said, it's all about like a next man up a game. Yeah. Speaking of next man up, are you guys ready for this? Devondre mm -hmm. Campbell. Revenge game. Patrick Taylor. Oh, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna work. That's gonna fail. <laughs> and oh, it's okay to announce this game because I'm I have a little bit of a grievance to do. Um, oh yeah. I got it. Week thirteen. Four days four days three days rest between these games. Thursday, mm -hmm. November twenty eighth, Thanksgiving night against the Miami Dolphins at seven twenty PM Central Time. <laughs> but what I'm pissed about is them oh. pointing on Peacock instead of NBC. <laughs> no, it says NBC on the Packers app. It says it. Oh. oh it says NBC you. on the Packers yeah. app. Yeah, right now. Thank goodness because PF, PFF put a post that said it was on P, on Peacock. I thought I would have pissed yeah. off. No, but Packers, app says, Packers app says NBC. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. go on that. So NBC um, was going to be with my Chirico and Chris Collins work. I think that's the I think that's the first game on NBC for Green Bay. One of only two. Yeah. Um. Well, they only get one or two on NBC. Right. Uh, that's okay, I'm excited. Though. I'm excited for this one. Um. Mm -hmm. It's um. Joe Barry's Joe Barry's coming back as linebackers coach. But it's gonna fail. Um, <laughs> plus the plus the Dolphins always play not as good in the cold. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be it's gonna be a cold game no matter what. Um. And the Packers are gonna. Win it by double digits in the end. Two is going to get picked off wow. a couple of times. Okay. Peter, what are your thoughts? I'm looking o at OBJ is not OBJ is not where you can contribute that much. Yeah, but you you could argue even if he's just a middle of the field distraction, leaving uh, Waddle and Tyreek Hill in one on one is a dangerous proposition too, because yeah. he, he may not contribute much, but he's still going to draw attention. Yeah, it's so pretty much a decoy. Yeah, but. If it's a decoy that creates one on one for arguably the fastest duo of starting outside wideouts in the league, I mean, I don't know. It, I mean, obviously, being in cold or whatever d does affect home teams. Look, look at Tampa's never won up here. <laughs> um, I don't think that's loud. So, which, um, so obviously, I think that'll continue, but. Then again, with the way the weather has been in the Midwest lately, you never know. Thanksgiving could be like 85 for all we know at this point, too. <laughs> yeah, 
it could be could be interesting could be interesting weather. Um, yeah, it'll be the first it'll be the first time the Packers played against um, the Packers play on Thanksgiving night at Lambeau since a uh, certain game that we'll not talk about here. Um, <laughs> next up, Peter. Next up, no. uh, next, up, go ahead. next up, we have a week a week to prepare. <laughs> the Packers play at the Lions this, the very next week on Thursday night football, Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. seven fifteen p.m. Central Time, and uh, uh, Amazon Prime against Detroit at Ford Field. Uh, um, Start lengthening out these games because I've realized we have only been live for thirty minutes. Just so you know. Oh, by the way, sorry about this. Forgot about the Dolphins game. Make sure Jordan Love gets that whole church off Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Thanksgiving game for Duncan. Right. He's gonna be mad, guys. He's gonna be <laughs> mad because he didn't get it last year against the Lions. It's it's, it's history. It's history. Hmm. And as Justin told me earlier, when we saw this game coming up, everyone's going to be like tired. Yeah. The Cowboys and Giants game. Just saying. Everyone's going to be taking. Everyone's going to be taking a nap with the first two games, and. uh, (laughs) 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 You you mean similar to like uh, how you would have wanted to with that game that you're not mentioning? (laughs) No, no, no. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> let me cl- let me clarify. So, after the, after Bears Lions after the Bears Lions game, most most families are going to have their Thanksgiving feast oh, yeah. during the second game, and, yeah. they'll, and they'll all take a nap when that game during that game, and then because Giants Cowboys, why 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 put that? Yeah, yeah. Like, Give the Cowboys a free win. I mean, right. I think the Commanders and Cowboys like last year. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> Train wreck. <laughs> Um, so, oh, we don't want the Cowboys to lose on Thanksgiving. Well, it's happened in the past, and I think yeah. remember a few years ago, Washington surprised the Cowboys. On right. <laughs> I think I don't know. I just have a feeling it's going to be fun to watch Joe Barry versus Jeff Halfley, and yeah. also the name is picking up Miller. What did I start? Mm. Anthony Campanelli, former Dolphins coach. Mm. That's right. Part. For a running backs coach, mm-hmm. it's on the Packers now. So, oh, that—that that was the uh, one other thing that I'd brought up, Justin, too, is uh, I, um, because when I was teasing her when she saw that game be like the uh, potential one earlier, uh, is I don't know that didn't go all that great for you the last time you had uh, Raheem Mostert and a mobile quarterback up in Lambeau did not go well. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Let me throw my phone again. Well, Raheem, well, Raheem Mostert. Uh, well, Raheem Moster was a, a, a great running back, and the yeah. last time the Packers played against the Dolphins with Raheem and Tua, they they won. Right. On Christmas Day. Um, yeah, that's true. I still have I still have PTSD over a certain Raheem Moster game a few years prior. <laughs> but, you can't imagine which one that would be. I mean, him and what's his name only accounted for like five hundred yards. No big deal. Well, yeah, <laughs> and a certain Jimmy. <sighs> through for only through only eight times, right? <laughs> Anyways, going back on track, getting back on track. I got uh, it. I got it from here, Justin. I got it. December fifteenth. Uh, prime time, seven twenty Eastern or er, seven Central at we Seattle. We, we haven't gotten our thoughts on the Lions away game yet. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, I think that's the second one that you guys split within the division, because uh, I think it's one another one of those ones where you both win at home. Yeah, yeah or a sample. That's a way yeah. though. So, or it could be another miracle. Yeah. Or that we could have another <laughs> cap of Thanksgiving last year. Just saying. And now we can go to the Seahawks game. Yes. Perfect. December fifteenth. 7.20 Central, uh, 5.20 East, or Pacific at Seattle. Yeah. I don't know where you're going with this one. NBC, Lumen Field, um, one of Packers' prime time games. From what I've seen, the Seahawks are going to wear their 80s throwbacks. Oh, nice. I love those jerseys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's not the neon green. Yeah, as long as it's not those ones, that's fine. <laughs> 
Peter, what is your thoughts about this thing? That's another one that I'm just genuinely conflicted on because, uh, and this is like the same thing that I've seen uh, bear secondaries that are built primarily around speed and stuff, um, mm -hmm. or just NFL secondaries that are built for speed in general tend to struggle with like the uh, bigger physical receivers. Yes. And in terms specifically of that, Seattle does have a top five one in the league with DK Metcalf. So a lot of it's just about who's going to be getting him the ball at that point. Right. Justin. So, from what I understand, I think it's still Geno Smith at quarterback in Seattle, and yeah, it's a completely new era now. Um, right. Pete Carroll's no longer coaching; he's in the advisory role. Uh... And um, but <laughs> Seattle has been that that place in Seattle has been a house of horrors for yeah, pretty much. They haven't mm -hmm. won there in in twenty in fifteen years or twenty mm -hmm. uh, sixteen years with two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while. And, I think it's gonna be time to. I think it's time to for the Packers to break that losing streak up there, in, uh, up there in the. Uh, yeah. It used to be called Century League. Now it's called Lumen. Right. Right. Also, one thing to note is DK Metcalf has never won against us. Temper tantrums. Yeah, he's always had temper tantrums against us. Yeah, that's fair. That's gonna be interesting how that pans out. Yeah, it, and it's going to be interesting to how Seattle's offense adjusts to a new system without uh, Janoko right. and stuff there anymore, too. Right. So, are you guys ready for week sixteen? Yep. Oh my god, we're getting closer. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I have to discuss something else for a little bit. There's something. Well, I, I know another team's schedule no. that we could well, take. <laughs> here's a different day, though. Worth a try. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Oh, you're ready yeah. for some football. December 23rd, Christmas Eve, Eve, whatever you call it, 7.15 start, Central Time Saints, ESPN, Lambeau Field. We know how last year's Lambeau Field or Saints game turned out over time. Yeah, 17-point 17 point, 17 point comeback. This time around, it's not going to be a comeback. It's going to be a huge blowout win for the Packers. Okay. Peter, what are your thoughts? Uh... Blowout, I don't know if I'd go comfortable, I would. So, yeah. I think I've got it like a, a 10 point margin working throughout for, for you guys. Yeah. yeah. So, now, I mean, if Carr lights it up, then you never know, but okay, but he's got to prove it first. Yeah. And also, um, their safety is really good. Yeah. The, the only thing I have would, would be that could be one of those uh, games where uh, drafting the way you did in that early second round with a secondary trade down might hurt you because uh, uh, put, putting Marshawn Lattimore and McHistory on the sa in the same defensive yeah. backfield was not a good idea. <laughs> but I, knew you but I don't know if that alone is going to be enough to beat you guys either. So Did you hear me, Peter? Yeah. I knew you would bring up McHistory. Just because you want to hurt <laughs> Um, okay. Week 17, December 29th, 12 Eastern, or 12 Central, wow, mm -hmm. at Minnesota. It's, for the past few for the past few years, 2019, 2019, mm -hmm. the penultimate game of the season was against the Vikings. 2020, mm -hmm. that didn't happen. Um, oh, yeah. uh, the Packers played the Vikings earlier than week 17. Mm -hmm. 2021, Packers played 2020. Week 17, the penultimate game against the Vikings at Lambeau. 2022, same thing at Lambeau. 2023, it was New Year's Eve at Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Easy win there. And 2024 <laughs> at Minnesota. Right now it's a new Easter, new, uh, a noon Central Time game. But depending on how both teams play, it could be flex to a 4.30 time. Yeah. It's 25 Central Time. Thing. Yes. By, with how the Vi with with Sam Donald – and J.T. McCarthy is your starting court as your quarterbacks. I'm not sure if the Vikings will ever even get past like six yeah. or seven wins. So yeah. it might stay as a noon game. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it's going to stay as a new one for sure. Um, I had them even with without looking at their opponents. I had them no no higher than like six and eleven, and realistically, probably like four and thirteen this year. I was going to say earlier, Peter, didn't you predict them to have your own seventeen? I, I said I could see it happening depending on how the quarterback stuff turns out because they do not have an easy schedule just based on like the list of opponents they have. So, quick question for chat. Um, thank you to the, the 
thank you to the 13 people that are watching. Um, what is, what do you guys think the Packers record will be? That's the question for the chat tonight. Peter, do you not? Be nice. Be honest, though, when you think about it. No, uh, ge genuinely, I can see you guys. I think I had you at, uh, like, a 12-5 and five range yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, get, so much of it depends on health, especially with Jacobs, because I think Lloyd's going to be mm -hmm. a good piece. But my one concern with it is that he's such a similar style to what Jacobs is that it's not really, like, the complementary dual feature like what detroit for instance does have with montgomery and gibbs yeah so um, sorry um so it's really going to depend on how, how well he stays healthy this year is i think going to be the, one of the biggest determining factors for how you guys do justin what about that what about like you? So, somewhere to like tw you know 12 and 5 at, at least i'm hoping to for like a 40 win season at the mm -hmm. at the most or, or, or fifteen and two, yeah. Depends on depends on health, obviously, and how how they play from week to week. Anything can happen. It's ain't given Sunday, ain't given Friday, ain't given Thursday or Saturday or Monday or whatever, whatever the Packers play. Yeah. Um, so can't take any team lightly, even even how bad the record is. Right. Um, let's talk about the week 18 game because I have a little bit to touch on. About, oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, no, that's it doesn't, ha it doesn't have a date and doesn't have a time. All week 18 games are to be determined. Yeah. yeah. Even though I already saw a date possibly for that one, like out there. Uh -huh. okay. If I were to take a guess, <laughs> I would say the Packers Bears team would be at the Game of the week or four 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 twenty five on either Fox yeah. or CBS again. Yeah. What day do you think the Saturday or Sunday? Because that's when Saturday football starts again. Yeah. yeah. No, they're they're gonna want that one on a Sunday, um, especially because mm -hmm. I do think it does actually become a rivalry again this year. Um, they're gonna want that because it's drawn in the big biggest market in the Midwest and one of, and two of the most legitimately strong fan bases out here. So mm -hmm. they're gonna want that. The oldest so, rivalry in professional football. Yep. So one thing that no one has mentioned on this stream, I don't think, is Josh Jacobs has never scored a passing touchdown ever as well. Hmm. No. So that'd be interesting because Jordan Love already said the running backs are going to get like passing yards. Interesting. I think he's going to break that this season. I honestly think so. Hopefully, it's on. Hopefully, they're not all on screens behind the line of scrimmage. There'll be some <laughs> real routes as well. Uh, um, don't worry. Ne neither of us have to worry about that moronic offensive coordinator from last year anymore. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Um, please, Packer players, if you're listening to this or watching this, please do Lambo leaps this year to get the fan fans hyped. And also, uh, and also a message. Um, this picture right here, the little take her, the, the little say, say symbol for goal package is for is for home games. So it's the second, the fifth, and the ninth home games for the Packers at Lambo Field, and they're all division games. To goal package ticket holders. Either either go to the games or make sure those seats are sold to only Packers fans. Yes. We don't want seats of blue, purple, or orange in the stands at Limbo. Peter, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling him out right now. That's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, does anyone else have anything to say? I feel bad because we have – um I mean, yeah to, 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 to the raiders actually thank you so much for taking that dimwit coordinator off our hands so we don't have to worry about him <laughs> anymore God. we really appreciate it <laughs> yeah so oh wait we have the preseason mm, okay really quick i just saw it tom silverstein posted it 32 minutes ago at Cleveland, uh, the August tenth, mm, okay, three twenty five, three twenty five Central. Mm -hmm. 
What are your guys' thoughts? The Browns at Cleveland. Oh, yeah, it's, pre- it's preseason. Yeah. Not a lot of stuff going to play, but. I think based on this, I think I know who we're, the Packers are going to be scrimmaging against. Hmm. Do you just want me to go down through all three games and I can. I think. Yeah, may as well. So, August 18th, sad, Sunday. So, August 10th is a Saturday. Hmm. Um, August 18th, Sunday, the August 18th, the 18th is at Denver. Again, Denver Broncos, yeah. 7 p.m. Dear Lord. I can yeah. see Tom possibly going to this one, Justin. Or Perna and Tom streaming together. Michael, yeah, Michael Press gonna get some experience in the preseason here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is the one that I think the Packers are gonna be um, going against for a practice. This is gonna be a big one. August twenty fourth is a Saturday. Baltimore Ravens. Ooh, and that, that's the one preseason game that actually kind of matters too, because it's where the starters are gonna play the most, arguably. And that's gonna be, I think. At, it says Baltimore Ravens, so I think it's yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> Both, Baltimore Ravens in all capitals. Yep. Interesting. That's, that's funny. Huh. Yep. It's like all the home, it's like Tom Silverstein's thing. All the home opponents are in all the home opponents are in capital letters. Right. Yes. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I just saw the Packer video. Um who who has the Hall of Fame game this year then? I, I can check. I thought it was the, I don't remember. Hall of Fame game, is that right? Yeah. Game 2024. Please, if you guys know anything else, just say it. Because I don't know. Um, Texans and Bears. Ooh, nice. Okay. Thursday, August 1st at 8 p.m. Yeah. No, I was hoping we would, given who's uh, going into the hall this year. So that's cool Whatever. to see. Devin Hester and Andre Johnson. Both yeah, I know. In, uh, He's purposely game. having you say that. Yeah. Well, not not just that, but uh, McMichael finally getting into is huge here, especially given like the disease he's battling and stuff like that. Right. It's good to That's see right. them be able to put him in while he's still with us. <laughs> I plus, just, Julius, plus Julius Peppers, who was a bear for a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. I just see my sticky notes spinning. It's kind of funny. Um. Okay. And it's convenient that the pet. It's convenient that the Hall of Fame game is Bears Texans because Bears Texans is the second Sunday night game on NBC. Yeah, and yeah. we'll see how that goes. It's going to be two two young quarterbacks going against each other. And, yep. Uh, it just it's going to be in Houston. So. Oh yes. Um, should we say final thoughts? Justin, yeah, go Peter, first. Go first. No, I'm making you go first. I'm the host. <laughs> oh boy! All right. <laughs> Um, well, no, like I said, it's going to be a really fun season. I'm ho- hoping that the uh, rivalry does come back because I, I love the way the division's headed for the most part back to like the black and blue days um, and such. But I do legitimately see you guys around like the 12 and 5 mark this year. So, Justin, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for the schedule and I'm, uh, I'm kind of relieved. I'm kind of mm-hmm. relieved that NBC has the Thanksgiving game and not Pete Cox. Yes. Like, <laughs> I'm, and also the Packers, and also I'm glad the Packers don't have to play on Christmas Day, so we can yes. have Christmas Day off. Yes. We can yeah. finally talk about that because we know officially. Um, Netflix did get a three-year deal with the pa- with the NFL, and I don't remember who's playing. Uh, it's the, the two, the two things, the two Christmas games are Chiefs against the Steelers. And the Ravens against the Texans. Whoa. Huh. Okay. I actually like this year's Packers scheduled video. It's actually good. I I'll, watch it, I'll watch it when we were done with you. This thing yes. here. <laughs> My final thoughts is... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Today's been rough for me, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we both go 12 and 5. I did say something else on fun football earlier when I first joined, but I don't see that anymore. Knowing the schedule, because we on fun football, I said fourteen and three, not knowing the schedule. Mm-hmm. 
That was like before we knew it. That was just when we knew the opponents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where can people find everyone? Oh, you can find me at, at Justin underscore Amandro, A-M-A-N-D-R-O on Twitter slash X. And uh, you can find Mary on, uh, on Twitter <laughs> at Mary sorry, mm-hmm. 9011-8710. And yes. the podcast page is on at Matt Podcast 2023. Yes. Here, I got it from there. Peter, where can people find you? Yeah, uh, easiest one right now would still be at Fresh Fire, the way it's spelled below on YouTube, and then at on Twitter at JC Living Four. Um, podcast. Where can people find? Um, oh yes. Podcast. Also, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Um, yeah. We're going to be coming on um, Thursdays and Saturdays during the season with Bears, Packers, and fantasy football talk. Uh, for the Cheesy Bear podcast, and it also brings the world's greatest sense of humor into it to intro the show. So look forward yes. to it. <laughs> Just, Justin said you can find me at Mary ninety eleven eighty seven ten. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, which this will probably be up there tomorrow before the meeting if it happens. And Matt Podcast three sixty five Twitter or X, like Justin said, Matt Podcast twenty twenty three. And Facebook at Mac Pod, Mac and Cheese Podcast. Uh, uh, we did final thoughts. Peter, do you have any questions for us about the podcast? Oh. Um, not okay. off the top of my head right now. No. You said you would come up with some of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will. <laughs> uh oh, I should probably say what shows we have coming up, guys. Right? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, yeah, I'm getting told to do this more in advance, so we are. We don't know any. We don't know next week's guest, right, Justin? Um, haven't haven't gotten the response back. Perfect. But we'll so, see. Justin and I discussed this earlier. Friday is the 18th, or Saturday is the 18th, and as if you guys have not looked, we started this podcast November 18th. So the 18th is a special day for us. Yay. Um. So oh, and 17th is when we met Tom Grassi, Justin. Um. So Friday, we are doing a six month anniversary show from the day that we met one month, almost a year when we met Tom Crossy to the year. Mm -hmm. And also pretty much six month anniversary is Saturday. Awesome. We started November 18th. We're going to do that one. It's going to be Q and a with Justin and I, Peter, you can be on the comments if you want, because I know you already told me. Yeah. Tom Crossy fan of the year is in July. That's going to be a great episode. It's probably going to be one of our most watched episodes. Mm. And we realize that. Mm. I have in here, while my sticky note is spinning, Nick V. I don't remember his Twitter right now. He recently interviewed Tom Grassi. Peter, this is the one I showed you. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a good one. I don't want to say his last name because I don't want to say it wrong. That's going to be Friday, next Friday show. It's going to be a great show, guys. Mm. Um, he just got back from surgery. And he's gracefully, gracefully coming on our show. Uh, does anyone else have any other final thoughts? Oh, shoot. Well, I actually did have one other one. Um, just with, like, seeing the chemistry that you guys have developed and stuff already, the six months couldn't happen to a more deserving duo. And it's an honor just to be here with you guys. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Uh, Justin, any more final thoughts? I'm just ex- so excited for the schedule and uh, mm-hmm. just best of luck to all 32 teams and uh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see how we'll see how the turn tape we'll see how the yes. how the uh, how everything goes. Yes. Yep. So I have no final thoughts, but I have to do this really quick. Otherwise, they will get mad at me. Uh, I don't remember their show dates anymore because there's a lot of them. Fun <laughs> football is on hiatus right now. Shots is Tuesdays. I know that one. Mm. He's going on hiatus soon as well. Uh, Blitz is Tuesdays, and they're on or we're on hiatus now as well. Uh, and there's a lot of other ones. Just enjoy the show, guys, because <laughs> I don't even know what's coming. Out. It's gonna be fun. Some of us are calling on hiatus. I don't think Mac is until August now. So that changed. Yeah. Um, also, I know it's your uh, mm-hmm. alternate one, but had you wanted to promote the one with my uh, with my friend? Thank you for running. Yep. 
Um, I'm supposed to do one more really quick. I got told to do this. Trailer Park Country, the band that played at the NFL tailgate. Mm -hmm. We had a fun conversation talking to them on Blitz Hits the Fan. Yes, I will do that one. Thank you for reminding me. I really don't like saying that one. I'm not back, but whatever. Or that channel in specific, but it's fine. Um, Trailer Park Country will be coming on Mac and Cheese soon. I just don't like okay. it. Okay. What's your friend's name? Oh, please check out the Life of Mary channel, guys. You guys are not required to subscribe, but please do that. That's like my personal. Um, you will see the Tom Grossi video and others. And like Peter mentioned, I don't even have that one on my sticky note. I should probably have that one. Uh, like Peter mentioned, his friend is doing an interview with me on Wednesday night. That's before Mac. Yeah. After Mac. I think. Yeah. I think. I don't know. No, and no, y'all uh, seriously be tuned, uh, be tuning it's, into that one because she's recording. In... It's recording. Oh, okay, well, be sure to watch that one then because she's gonna, she's an incredible, incredible person and lead singer of, uh, even unbiased, one of the best bands I've ever heard come out of the Chicago area, and that's saying something. So, You're giving me more questions to ask. Don't yeah, I will definitely get you. <laughs> uh, does anyone else have anything of what they want to promote? Um, no. no. Everything's been everything's been for. Okay. <laughs> Peter, you anything else? Uh, no, that should be it for now. So I need to show people this. Peter, you're seen this. Yeah. I need to show the logo really quick that Med made for us. So as I just said, Med made all our graphics for our show. So please check him out at Shots from the Sideline. He does all our graphics. He might be in chat. I'm not sure. Thank you so much, Matt. If you are watching, I know you will. And he made our mac and cheese intro, the new one. And you will be seeing Justin more on this podcast and Peter more as well. Justin's like, they're both like alternating. Well, they're both technically co hosts of ours now. And we appreciate them. Mm, glad that helps. We appreciate them. <laughs> Wow, getting those words from Packers fans, that, mean, that means the world to me. <laughs> Every day, like all day today. Um, one thing to note is because we are switching co-hosts kind of, mm. mac and cheese is still making, staying mac and cheese. People have noticed, oh, he needs to redo the banner. I need to let him go. Put that one. Mm. Yeah, sorry, bud. <laughs> More work for you. <laughs> we are keeping mac and cheese. It's just going to be named after something else. Yeah. I'm going to play the intro so we can end. Because I don't want to stay on here without one.